to Friday Night Vinyl, the new and improved yes. Friday Night Vinyl. Um, is that the Spectrum behind us? That is the Spectrum. Wow. Uh, they that's, re- that, that's amazing. They rebuilt it just for us, and How we are that? broadcasting live from, cool. from there right now. Cool. And, uh, and it's daylight in Philly, too. How about that? It is, it is daylight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one of the things that we got to do, that, one of the things I did forget to do is set this. Um, oh, that's right. So we can see the comments. Yes. If there is any. Yeah. One of the things, hopefully, just somebody put a comment, um, put that you're here. This is the first week, so we're learning different things. But we want to make sure that you're able to uh, join in and make comments. We see who's here. Great intro. That's what we needed to say. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Murray. So, um, so yeah, um, it's a whole new ball game now. We're able to do a lot of different things. <laughs> I've, we've got about eight monitors in front of us now. Maybe later after the show, we'll post the pictures. So we've got a ton of lights shining on us, we got too. a ton of lights shining on us, and I don't <laughs> think there's any yet. spots in front of my yeah. eyes after the show. Yeah, and so. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to drive home from your house. I'm, I'm, wearing, gla- I'm wearing glasses tonight, but um, I think I really needed to like wear like, like blinders and everything. So it's weird. It's like the light from the monitor over here doesn't look as good as, as everything here. Right, yeah. We're still working on getting the cameras and everything perfected. Hi, um, how you doing, Len? Lenny, Hi, thanks for joining. Good evening. Welcome to Friday Night Vinyl. Glad you're here. Um, let's uh, have our first on yeah. the, uh, the new version of Saturday, oh, Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah, Friday, Night Friday Night Vinyl. Vinyl. I say Saturday Night, not yet. Let me tell you something. I'm exhausted. I mean, this, this has been like, you know, in addition to work and everything, this has been like 40 hours worth of um, getting together and Lenny came over Tuesday and then we did things. I was up until 2 o'clock last night. I mean, now going forward, it's not going to be as difficult. Um, so I think um, we're going to... Uh, you want to get started? On I the, think we're going to get started. Album review? Cover, cover, album cover review. Yeah. And the, the, first, the first album up here um, that we thought was, you know, was a cool, cool cover was, uh, was Diamond Dogs. David Bowie. David Bowie, yeah. And how, how, yeah. how cool was that cover that when that first came out? Oh, when that, when, oh I, when that cover first came out, we were like, 
Really? Oh, well, that was the first Bowie album I actually ever bought. And it might have been because of the cover. I mean, I don't remember way back when. I, I, yeah. I'm just thinking, I'm just wondering if I had David live before we had this. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Because I remember the guy before me uh, gave me all his albums. I know right, David right. Live was one of them. But, hey, there's David. Yeah. Unfortunately, only in picture. Here we go, see? Here we go. Hi, Dave. <laughs> but, yeah, the... Um, yeah, Diamond Dogs was like a great album cover. I mean, I, I like yeah. I like Aladdin Sane too. But... Yes, Aladdin Sane was good. Yes, and one of the things we're doing today is we're just talking about the uh, the the band and everything. Now that shot you have behind us, that's from like the Day to Live. That's right? from the Day to Live. Is that yes. the Tower Theater. That's from the Tower Theater. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Very nice. Good, 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 good catch. I guess the orange hair and the yeah, it must the, have been yeah. the blue and everything. So so yeah, the um, so let's see here. We also talked about like albums that the album covers that we didn't right. like by the artist, right. and the um. Well, here's the, oh here, first of all here's yeah you got to talk about the well, all, well this 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 cover well actually the album kind of folded out right so um, <clears throat> what happened was is that uh, they had the genitalia there showing on that picture. For the Diamond Dogs album, and they kind of figured, like, whoa, wait a minute, we can't have that show. And so they kind of later on they kind of blacked it out. So there was a few album covers that got out like that, but not many. So they're worth it, like a ton of money now if you have one of them. Well, it's funny. It's funny you said that last last night when I was putting these scenes together, I looked at, I saw that on eBay that album yeah. went for thirty five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I don't I don't know exact the exact amount that actually got released, but it was it was, it was a few. Yeah, the um so, so that was, it was the, the horrible album cover from David Bowie. Yeah, this was got to be that one. The Man Who Sold the World had had three uh had three had covers. Three, three different variations. That was the original one when it first came out. Yeah, that was this was the original one. Um then the, the two other versions weren't really that bad, but I remember you got this at a like, yes. dollar ninety nine cut. Yes, I mean, it's I probably, yes. Pro well, if it wasn't a cut, it's probably worth some money today. Yeah. Right. I don't think this one's easy to find. No, it's not. Now this is this, you see, the now, Spanish this, this, version. This was the second one that came out after that original one. Yeah, this is one I, I've seen this one in the stores, um, and uh, yeah. So so you had this one come out, and then. And then there was a third one. This was the this was the third one here, which looked a little glam, looked a little glammy there. Yeah, that's yes. <laughs> yeah. So the um, so right now we're going to go to one of our many new features. This one's called the Shadow Cam, and there he is. Shadow is sitting back and and actually enjoying the whole entire show. He's taking it all in. He is showing the total excitement that is the whole Friday Night Vinyl. Well, he was up. He's probably up with you from two o'clock last night. He was up at two o'clock out here. And fortunately for him, he's able to. He's able to sleep. Okay, so good for him. So here we are. Wow, what is that behind us? Right now, we we take you to the Royal Albert Hall in London, England, and. I, well, how many holes does it take to fill the outer hall? Yeah, apparently they figured it out. It's like 20,000 20, yeah, 20, people. All right. Um, I had, you know I had to do a Beatles reference when you're getting ready to talk about your favorite group. Absolutely. So, so yeah, so I think of the Royal Albert Hall and I think of the Rolling Stones because one of the first live albums from 1966 was, was live at um, the uh, Royal Albert Hall. Uh, got live if you want it. Okay. And uh, let's just see what we have here. But my favorite album cover by them would have to be Sticky Fingers. And because it was different and it came with a, it came with a God, real zipper. Yeah, that was pretty cool though, what they did with that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I think the packaging people. Now, now, did your fingers actually get sticky if you touched the zipper? Yeah. <laughs> you could actually, you could actually get a, you could actually have it rip up a little bit. Oh, okay, but that was a pretty cool album. Get yeah. red. 
<laughs> yeah, put yeah. that behind us. <laughs> uh, and that would be the Rolling Stones tour of 1975. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, uh, the Stones with the um, yeah, this this album this album was cool with the sticky fingers and everything. And the one I hate the most, it's probably got yeah, more to say about the one I hate the most, and that's. That's Love You Live. What the hell were they thinking on that cover? Well, they were being artsy. That was an Andy Warhol cover. But you have to understand, yeah. back then we didn't have the internet. And the Stones are coming out with a double live album. And I told you the story. I rounded the store. I couldn't wait you know, to see live pictures of the Stones and have so, the album open up with okay, live right, pictures. Right. And it was nothing. It was it was every member of the band. Like, so, so, Ed, was he fighting his own hand or somebody else's hand? It was probably somebody else's somebody hand. Somebody else's hand. I'm um, looking at the angle there. I don't know. It could, be, it could be his own hand. A lot of people can't see that part on here. But the um, another album by the Stones that I thought was a, a cool cover was later on was the uh, Bridges to Babylon album. Which, uh, you can go both ways with that sucker. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, for, well, here's the thing. For me, that is not a prototypical Rolling Stones album cover. That's not really what they were... Um, they were all about. So, uh... Oh! Oh, wow, where are we at? I think we're, we're at Cobo Hall. I think we're at, I think we're at, uh... Detroit's Cobo Hall, Hall back in 1975. Yes, during the Alive era. It's Alive 1 era. Yes, and, and surprisingly... So is anybody, first of all, is anybody catching my, my shirt at all? I mean, does anybody figure out what that word is? See who this is, is who this person is right here. The the uh, blank book. The blank book. This would be who is that? Ace Freely. Ace Freely. So, so this would be the, Facebook. The Ace book. I Ooh, get it. The Ace book. You get it? And I think she, yeah, yeah. I don't know if anybody else is getting it though. I don't I, I do not know. Okay. Try the comment again. Just... So there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I know what Ace book. I know what everybody's thinking. Everybody's thinking. Well, that's I, a good segue I into this next group. I right? can't believe that Lenny's actually a uh, talking Kiss about song. Kiss. Yes. Yeah. So the album I'd like to talk talk about is the Destroyer album, and um, the first the first view we're having is now this the Destroyer album cover was commissioned <clears throat> by uh, to Ken Kelly, who was a famous artist uh, at the time. He still he kind of still is. Um, well, this is what he first came up with. Notice how dark the background is, and behind them there's like a city on fire. And um, when he actually painted this, <clears throat> he had their original Kiss Alive co costumes on that. So the record company saw this and said, "Wait a minute, this is a little too violent looking with the rubble and the, and the flames in the background and stuff." Plus, uh, we did, we forgot to tell you that Kiss was changing their costumes for the Destroyer tour. Yeah. So he had to repaint it, and the next. The next view we're going to see is the, the album that they actually came out with. They lighten it up a little bit with the blue background, and instead of with the destruction in the background with the with the city on fire, they just had them standing on a pile of rubber, and with, of course with their new uh, Destroyer albums. Now, now I don't know if you noticed or not, Ed, but Ace Freely mm -hmm. is holding. He has four fingers. He's holding up four fingers. You okay. know what the reference to that is to the four fingers. Um, God help me, I'm a member of KISS. Your fourth studio album. Ah, the fourth studio album. So he's holding up four fingers in the reference that this is our fourth studio album. Very nice. You did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> so, and we're back. And we're back. We're back to Cobble Hall again. Yeah, so now we're going to talk about um, the, the worst KISS album cover. Of cover, course. yeah. Yeah, not KISS album cover, and could be the worst album. And yeah. the worst album cover of all time by Kiss. Well, I don't know. Could be. I mean, there could be another one that, that runs close second to it. So. Yes. Anyway, let's flip to that. Uh... Okay, this is Kiss Unmasked. And, you know, as you can see, this was a horrible album cover. I don't know what the hell they were trying to do here. Well, I know what they were trying to do. Basically, there's a photographer. He goes to a Kiss concert. And, you know, and he's, he's there. He's, photo he's photographing them. And he goes behind... He goes backstage, and they take their makeup, then they unmask themselves, and they still have their makeup on. 
you know, and the guy, you see it on the last frame there, it says, I still think they stink, which was kind of like a funny... And I, I think that, that is actually Jack Garrity in that picture. The, um... Jack... Yeah, I'm thinking that's Jack Garrity in that last frame saying, I still yeah, think they stink. Right, I know. Because he... Yes, uh, Jack, uh, you know... Yes, kiss again, sorry. Yeah, the, um... I guess you'd rather talk about the Doors. Are you the big Doors fan, Jack? Is that why you like to break my balls? <laughs> that, that's that's right, the Doors. The Doors, and yeah. As you're wondering right now, we come to the favorite part of the show for me, and I know it's the favorite part for all of you. It's the Obscure Four. This is where I play four songs that Lenny hasn't known because these songs have been sealed on the, uh, in a mayonnaise jar on fucking Wagnall's porch. Oh, I thought we were going into like a car segue or something. No, yeah. yeah, I just, I wanted something obscure in the background okay. for the Obscure Four. I mean, okay. look like a checkered know, flag or something. Maybe yeah. next week uh, it'll be a Sharknado or something. Okay. You never that'll know. Be, that'll be a lot better, I think. That would be really cool. I just wanted to play with their depth perception. But as you see right here, it says the right. Obscure. obscure. Right, I gotta go this way. Here see, you go. I'm learning my weatherman uh, skills. Four, four, yeah, watch the hand, dude. Well, your stomach's in the way. You're getting near the naughty bits now. It's like time to move. Your stomach's in the way. <laughs> he said, don't tell, give me the lies and keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> so anyway, we are going to go into... The Obscure Four this week has a sort of a theme to it. And Are we brought to you by anybody? This week, not, not I didn't sponsored have sponsored by anyone. I didn't have time. I was oh, okay. Exhausted. Well, it's sponsored by Red Solo Cup. That's yes. Cool. We'll sponsor Red, by Red Solo Cup. Red Solo Cup. Cup. Vinyl, yes. Red Solo Cup. So, I give you the obscure four. This. It's just. Yeah, of course you got me in the frame and with the thanks, Ed. I appreciate it. <laughs> Can I, wait a minute, which way I gotta punch him? I gotta go this way. Yeah. <laughs> William Shatner, really? And see. He's actually singing Bohemian Rhapsody. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, shit. Shat. Shat. Of Shatner. There's not enough vodka and tonic for me right now. It's only gonna get better, uh, or worse. Depending upon the point of view, right? Yes. So we're leaving Lenny after hung the dry. I'm actually Jeez. hiding behind the album. Yes, thing. nice. There's my hand. I'm, I'm right here. And here's me punching him. <laughs> Block. Just kill him. I wish he would kill me right now. I swear to God. Put a gun against his head. Put a gun against his head, Lenny. Pull the trigger. Now I'm dead. Come on. Please. No, he's dead. He's crying, man. That's a shit. <laughs> oh no! What is this? This would this would be him, his version of one of your favorite Beatles songs. Wait a minute! How many how many songs would have this guy? It's sang? called the Obscure Four. It's the William Shatner Obscure Four. Four. Oh my one. God. <sighs> You're like ruining the Beatles for me right now. I'm ruining you're, everything. You're ruining the Queen, now you're ruining the Beatles. And right now I can have a sip of Now I'm talking to William Shatner right now instead of Ed Majestic. Nobody can see that. <laughs> just William, out of the William, room. you're ruining the Queen and Beatles for me right now. Tangerine trees and yes. marmalade scotch. Oh, marmalade scotch. Right, so let's go to the next one. Oh. We're going we're gonna to pick it up a little so we get I think I need a sip right now. It's 2 a.m. The fear is gone. I'm sitting here, waiting. The gun is still warm. Maybe my connection is tired of taking <laughs> No. <laughs> yes. No. I'm wrapped up in silence all circuits so of Oh my god. Yeah, Slater just Slater just said the best bad bad act actor ever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got we got right the shadow okay. game. We're gonna, we're gonna, one more. Come on, one more, and we're done. But this is the famous one. Back my bags. Last night, pre flight. This is, oh my this is a God. popular one. Yeah, I, I know what it is. Zero hour. Rocket Man. I said, I hear it. I hear it. I hear the lyrics. 
and I'm gonna be high. Yeah, you sound like you're friggin' high right now. Scotty, beat me up. There's no intelligent life on this planet. <laughs> All right. I think we've had enough William Shatner for one, for one lifetime. Oh, we're back. Yes, we are. And now we're going to go into just some album, random album covers. Some are good, some are bad, some have some stories behind them. And uh, let's get back to, to this thing here. No, 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 no. That was our intro. That right? was our intro. Let's go here and let's. Uh -huh. Great album and great album cover. Yes. Austin's first debut album. Yeah, and the album cover is cool because yeah, it's it's like a spaceship with a city in it. Obviously, the city of Boston on this. I hope but so. it's a guitar. Right. It's a guitar spaceship. So, a guitar space? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never noticed that. Wow. wow. See? You know, I never noticed that. Yeah. yeah. It's a guitar. Well, okay. There you go. Check it out. Yeah. And, Hair of the Dog by Nazareth, I think it's still one of the one of my favorite covers. That's a nice cover. It's really, it's really just, it's awesome. It's just, if you've ever had a hangover, you know, this painting here is really what it, what it looks like and feels like. And of course, yes, Relayer, I mean, great album cover, but so, so album, but do you like all guys? You don't like Patrick okay. Moore? Oh, that's not because of Patrick Moore. It's not close to the edge. No, it's not. Yeah. They, tried, they tried to revisit Close to the Edge with only doing three songs on here, but it didn't work. It just did not work. Now, I don't care what the music's about. Really? You bought this album for this album cover. It's yeah. Roxy Music. Really? And now, the funny thing I said to Lenny earlier is, is the fact that um, is that this album was shot in 1975. So let's all visualize the same models now. Uh, what would that be, 40 years later? I don't know. Maybe the one on the left is pretty, but the one on the right... But oh, see, wow. they don't know which way is left and right because we don't know how they're set. Oh, okay. So. I'm sorry. But he just no, made no, the one on the left. No. The one on the left. I think we've had this one up enough, long enough. Yes. Yeah. Uriah Heep, um, Demons and Wizards was was another cool album cover for the time. I think this was like 1970. What kind of cartoonish though? It was cool at the time. Um, maybe not the greatest. Now, now this one here, Angel. The cool thing oh, about that is really cool. The cool thing about Angel. The cool thing about Angel is the fact that this album cover, if you flip it upside down, you're going to still see it Angel. like it's right side up. If you look at the top, you see Angel, and if you look at the bottom, the band name is still Angel. The typing is upside down, but if you flip it over, yeah, because yeah. it's like a mirror image. Now, unfortunately, I mean, the music wasn't bad, and you got the guy, the Jeffrey, that came from this band. This wasn't a bad album, Punky but Meadows. Punk and Punky Meadows, yeah. but the album cover was a lot better. Kansas Left Overture was another, you know, good album cover, good album but co even better album. Even better, yeah. even better album. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh -huh, now, here, here's uh -huh. one for you, the gods. Now, now this one, I went into the record store not knowing who the hell they were. I said, "Wow, this is a pretty cool album cover. Let me buy it." And see, you know, and see what it's like. So I took it home, played it once. I don't think I ever played it again. No, I, well, no. Well, the funny well, thing we played it yeah. a second time when here yeah, a few months ago, and when your daughter bought the oh record player. Oh my god, it was horrible, horrible album. And, Great, uh, good album cover though. Yeah, but horrible music. Yes. Now this was Rush's first album cover, and I mean, this is just so. This is like, did, was the budget for their record label like, like ten dollars for for these graphics and stuff? The, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Rush's um, first album. And now we go on to, uh, hey, we're back. Look, it's us again. Hey, Vince, how you doing, buddy? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Vince. And uh, well, here's the I, thing. I put on this shirt for you tonight, Vince. You got it? The Ace Book. Jack Garrity. This is what I got to deal the with. Ace Book. Yeah. Well, Vince just joined we're us. We're just going to play the door. He wanted to know what he missed. Anyway. The Ace Book. Check it out. All right, so anyway, we're at the Hollywood Bowl in California, and the, um, 
when I think of the Hollywood Bowl, it does remind me of of the Beatles, and uh, I think that's where we're going to go. And one of the things to Today, the Beatles, the Beatles, the Beatles. one of the things today is, today is the 50 year to the day anniversary of Revolver, Revolver, 50 years old today. And I think this is kind of when they started experimenting with different sounds. I think rubber, this follows rubber soul, if I'm not, if, if I'm correct. Yeah. <clears throat> and I believe this was recorded in Germany. They actually recorded this whole album in Germany. And they experiment with different sounds, as you can tell with this song here. They got, you know, different sounds going on in the background. It's not a Beatles-esque kind of album. And then right after this was the most iconic album that they came out with. Oh, look at that! We're at the the cavern. The cavern, right? My daughter's going to be there in another week in Liverpool. Uh, I'm blocking John Lennon's side. There you go. Here's John Lennon. There's my ball. Right beside my ear. So, um, well, this kind of takes us into your favorite album cover by the Beatles. Yes, that would be Sgt. Pepper. An iconic album cover and an iconic album. <laughs> so, hey, there was actually, well, this was released in June 1967. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's actually 57 different photographs and nine different wax figures on this album cover. Interesting. And, and and they and they actually needed permission from each and every one of those picture, people pictured in this album cover. They needed their permission to put their picture on the album. Yeah. And there was a lot of other. I don't forget to... Welcome the Rolling Stones on the little dummy. Right. Here. Yeah. Well, the other thing too. Um, um, Joseph Bankwich is funny because yeah, this album inspired Pet Sounds. Right. Kinda, yes, this is did. the album that kind of yes. put um, what's his name over the over the edge, Brian Wilson, because he was trying to he was trying to top this. So anyway, this did you Ed, did you know that this was the first the album the whole album's lyrics was printed on the back cover of this album. It was the first time that it's ever been done on a rock LP. On the back cover of the album. I remember being on the, the back lyrics, cover, yeah. The lyrics of every song was, was on the back cover of this. So anyway, to name a few people that's on this album cover, it's Bob Dylan, Marlon Brando, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe blah, blah. Sonny Liston, Laurel and Hardy, and W.C. Fields, uh, to name a few people who were on that album cover. Mm -hmm. Now, Lennon actually requested a picture of Adolf Hitler. Hitler blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's, yeah. my, it's my new mouth. I'm trying it out for the first time tonight. Adolf Hitler, Hitler and Jesus Christ, but the... The record company kind of rejected that idea. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, I don't know why either. And anyway, so anyway, the the whole shoot shoot actually cost them three thousand pounds. Yeah. Wow. When, when a typical album cover only costs about fifty pounds. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, We're looking money, at today's right, money, yeah. in, You know, no, no, fifty pounds back in the day. Right, right, right. In 1967, right. a typical album cover shoot would only cost about fifty pounds, and it cost them three thousand pounds to shoot that cover. So now. We're going to talk about your my worst album, Beatles album cover by the Beatles. The by the Beatles. Born, the so it'll be Yellow Submarine. Now this album was re released between the White Album and Abbey Road, and it was the soundtrack to an animated film, right? That they yes. came out with right? Peter Max, yes. right? And it was actually released only two months after the White Album. I feel like a breeze going by my head. I don't know what's going on. It, it's like something like going by my head. I feel like a like a rush of air or something. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. <coughs> it could be a yellow submarine, right? So anyway, it was it a what? Like I said, this was only this album was only issued two months after the White Album. I mean, really? well, I mean, you know, it's like so many great. I mean, that White Album was a double album, it was a great album, and then they come out with this crap. Well, there's only there's only like two recorded songs on this album, right? Well, no. What happened was was that they they had to come up with four new songs. So, like Yellow Submarine was already recorded on another album, and so it was All You Need Is Love was also on this on this soundtrack mm -hmm. that they already had previously recorded for another album. 
then he had to come up with four other new songs for the film. But, um, you know, it was, it was horrible. I don't, I don't even know why they bothered. I think it was the record company, they were like obligated contractually to, to put something out. And they just put out this crap. And the rest of the album was like instrumental stuff, it's, you know, stuff like that. I do let's, yeah, let's go on to something better. I do believe please. that's Robert Plant behind me. Yes, it is. And I think you're blocking Jimmy Page, yeah, and one well, blocking John Paul Jones. There's over here. Jimmy Page, well, Page is yeah, over there. Okay. But it's all good. We know who they are. Anyway, I'm actually going to play a song from what I consider the worst Led Zeppelin album. And okay. some of you will be surprised. Not going to go worst cover. Go album worst cover. First. Well, I'm actually well, I'm, I'm going to show you the, the, what I think is the best. We're talking about album covers. Right. Um, well, let's kick it off with this. Then we're going to go to this. Okay. I think In Through the Outdoor was absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, I'm missing two of the two of the um, album covers. But so there was eight variations. No, 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 there were six variations. Oh, okay. There's two in here. So the double. Oh, the double. Okay, I'm sorry. So there were six people in the bar, and each version of the album cover was that person in the bar's point of view, what, what they could see. And also, it came in a brown bag, so you didn't know which album cover you were getting. Right. So if you're a diehard collector. You know, you're going out maybe buying several, you're buying like 10 Led Zeppelin albums to get all six covers. But also when you open the sleeve, when you open the sleeve up, there was a white inner thing that I had for like a year or two. Mm -hmm. And then one night it was out on the table and somebody put a, a beer on there and oh, that, all, these all these colors came out. I'm like, wait a minute, because we didn't have the internet back then because, well, it wasn't invented yet, but look, that's... Not how I want to say we had a conversation, but what happened was, you know, if somebody would have did it like the first week, um, it would have been all over the internet and say, hey, what the album, it's cool. And until one of us, either maybe it was Lenny or somebody, whatever happened, we're like talking to each other, oh, dude, what the album, wow, no, 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 wait, it's awesome, it's, it's a water painting. Mm -hmm. But by far, the worst Led Zeppelin album cover, probably in my top 20 yeah, worst album think. covers ever, definitely. Is Led Zeppelin three? Oh yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of stuff going on on that cover. And it had a well, it had a spin wheel like, too. No, like, it had a spin wheel. You could why? like there were certain things. Well, I'm pointing, but it's like, but there were certain things on here. We're laughing because I'm pointing to the screen, and you can't see me pointing to the screen. But this actually came with a spin wheel. So where you see Jimmy Page's um, picture, there was actually a, a whole a whole bunch of things you could spin it, but I was just like, this wasn't one of my top, like, Led Zeppelin albums to begin with, but right. this this is definitely one of the best, one of the best songs, and uh, so yeah, that's that's it for me with uh, with this moment in Zeppelin time, and I think it's time oh, who's for, that, who's that in the background? that's Brian Looks May, like and, Brian May. Oh, and I got, and I got Freddie Mercury. Wait a minute, no, you go that way. I go this way. We really have to get our our weatherman, like <laughs> knowing because we're yeah, looking cold front coming in yeah. the, from the east. Yeah. What we're looking. <laughs> the problem is, we're looking at a monitor. Right. And the monitor. It's over here. So we go like this. Right. But really, what's in the monitor is actually behind us, <laughs> right over here. Yes. Go well, watch my head. Yes. Watch so, the hair. Yeah. Watch the hair. I'm sorry. I messed up your hair. <laughs> what's you left were, of it? <laughs> so. So anyway, so we got Queen. We do have Queen. Okay. So my favorite album covered by Queen would be their second album, would be Queen Two, which Ed's going to pop up any second now. Hopefully, there it goes. So that's a pretty cool album cover. Now, actually, they kind of used that in the Bohemian and Rhapsody video. I was going to say yes. That, that's me. the operatic right. part of it. Yes. You know what I mean? So I mean, that's it's it's plain. There's a black background. It's just them. Freddie Mercury has his hands crossed across his body. It's just a it's just a good album cover. I mean, I've all the album covers that came out with. I, I like this one the best. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a really cool cover. And it's funny because I was looking at it and I'm like, that's a Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. Here you, you, yes. you clarified it. Yep. No, we they they I don't know if that was intentional or not, but you know they probably used the same lighting and said, hey, this would be perfect for that. So. Yes, yeah, it was kind of like the first Kiss album too. Yeah, definitely. But oh, here we are. This is oh, here we go. 
Wait a minute, I'm blocking. You're spreading right where you got. Why am I moving? Yeah, you have to. I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so. Yeah. Queen. Now, wait, now, what's that? What's that uh, from? This looks like it's from the. Uh, well, the, the short hair. I short hair. It's got to be from that. I think it's the hot, the hot space yeah. era. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what? They always use those lights, so it, it could be. Um, so speaking about hot space, this would be kind of like their... This was the death of Queen for a lot of people. Yeah, and then speaking about Andy Warhol, that's kind of like an Andy Warhol-esque album cover. And Maria Quinn is saying, uh, my favorite cover is the White Album. Yes, it was, it was amazing what they did with, such, they did, with right, one yeah. color. With one color, I know. Yeah, right. Yeah, this was just a this was just a yeah, horrible. Was just, it was yeah. a horrible album. It was a horrible cover. It's like we can't think of doing anything. Let's just throw this one yeah. on there. Yeah. So I'm sure the album wasn't wasn't as great either. So I believe that's uh, that, that looks like sticks in the background. I believe that's that's sticks in the background. That is that is sticks in the background, and. Uh, so we're moving on to Sticks, and um, I guess my my favorite album cover by Sticks would be Crystal Ball, which Ed's going to pop up there. It goes. That's a pretty cool. You know, it's a hand holding a crystal ball, and this has got to be when you're, the song that you're playing right now, Crystal Ball. The title track off the album's got to be the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, song off of here. Oh yeah, it's now now this this album was released in October of '76. And this was right before the Grand Illusion album, which really put them over the top. But this was the album before that. And I don't think there was not so many good songs off this album, but this one, this one's got to be the, the best. Tommy Shaw singing it, you know. Even though yeah. I'm a better, I'm a more of a Dennis the Young kind of fan. But um, you know, Tommy Shaw did a great job on this on this album. No, I, I, I mean on the song. I think the Tommy Shaw. No, I'm not sure. Was this his first album that he actually appeared on, like vocal? You know, and he joined think, the band. I think it was. There might have been one album before this, but I'm I'm almost certain that this was. Yeah, Slater was saying about the Queen thing. Yeah, it was the game first. When I saw Freddie Mercury with the buzz, because that's when oh, okay. he right. did that. Right. Uh, but yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we move on to their their worst yeah. album cover, and maybe their worst album that they ever did. Oh yeah, it's got to be. He wanted me to play the song for the Obscure Four, and I said, Well, I, I wanted like, everybody to get, get get that song in their head for the weekend, you know I, what I mean? I said, no Domino Arigato. Oh, God. Kilroy was here. Oh, horrible. I mean, the album cover really, I mean, you know, just by looking at it, you could see that it was horrible. You know, songs like Mr. Roboto came off of here, but Don't Let It End was a decent song that came off of this album. Other than that, I don't have really too much more to say, but... You know, it's not one of their best albums, and it's definitely not one of their best album covers. Yeah. I I agree. But, you know, I really wish we could have got a Mr. Roboto, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I had a, you know, I, I I revisited this album, and I had to listen to the song, you know. So, that was 1983. So. All right, so... Um, we're going to go to Shadow Cam again, see what, see what Shadow's up to. Shadow, you can tell right We're now, Shadow. Is, there we go. is totally enjoying the show. Yes. He is just taking it all in right now. Shadow's waiting for the Bay City Rollers to pop up on our show. Shadow's more of a, um, more of a Doors kind of dog. He likes, he likes like, you know, Lover Manly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Jim Morrison really gets him going. Okay. Yes. So is that what he's listening to on his headphones right now? Is that why he's falling asleep? Because he's listening to the doors? He's always listening to sticks right now. Oh, okay. But I saw he's got headphones on. Yes, he does. Yeah, so he's listening to the doors. That's why he's falling asleep. Yes. Oh, so we're in Ooh. front of a Roger Dean type of, you know, a lot of Roger Dean stuff was really good. I feel like I'm in a Superman movie or something. Yeah. Back on his planet. Oh, we're on. Krypton? Yes. Universe? Yes. <coughs> so, um,. We don't really have anything to say about it. I just want to put that in the background. Uh, well, what album cover was that? That was Relayer. By? Yes. Yes. Okay. And this is one of the centerpieces of Yes Songs, another Roger Dean um, graphic uh, artwork. So so now we, uh, we go into... Oh, this guy. Oh, who is that? I think we're going to talk about Alice Cooper now. <laughs> Alice Cooper. This, this is for you if you're still watching. Yeah, and well, I think I think it's actually, I think it is. Is Vince still out there? 
Vince, he is. tell us if you're out there. Happy birthday, Vince. If it is Vince, happy birthday. You asked for it, you got it, pal. Alice Cooper baked a... You wanted some kiss, you wanted some Alice Cooper, here you go. He he uh, he baked the birthday cake okay, just, just for, you. for you. And it looks like he's ready to throw it in our face. I don't know. Yeah. He's like, who's this Vince guy? Yeah, so... Who is this guy? Yeah, so... So anyway. let's go with it. Like, Alice Cooper is like... I mean, he had a lot of decent album covers in his day. Mm -hmm. But my favorite... <clears throat> Alice Cooper album cover mm -hmm. would be Goes to Hell. Let's show them Goes to Hell. Let's do that. Okay, so it's Goes to Hell and he's looking like the devil there. I mean, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You know, I mean, because, you know, there was another album right before this, Welcome to a Nightmare, that kind of really disappointed the hell out of me. You know, it was a concept album. Welcome to my nightmare, and he comes up with this album cover. Come on. What the hell was that? Ed? Yeah. I mean, based on what the album was about and the songs on the album, come on. What the hell was that? He's in a tuxedo with a top hat. All right, he's got the little bugs in the background for the Black Widow crap and stuff like that, but come on. Yeah. So Vince is still with us. Yeah. Hey, Vince. <laughs> But, so that was kind of disappointing to me. So, like, so Alice is, what, I mean, that wasn't the, his worst album cover to me, but that's got to be his worst album cover of all time, Muscle of Love. Now, now, this album was, this was the last album that Alice did with the original band members right. before he recorded Welcome to My, Night, Welcome to My Nightmare. And, uh, but I don't know, you know, it was an okay album. Muscle and Love was a decent song off of there. There wasn't pretty much else that was going on there. And I think this was right after Billion Dollar Babies and the band wanted to get back to the roots. Right. And it just didn't work out. You know, I think that's kind of why Alice kind of went on his own mm -hmm. after that, you know. Oh, uh, that had to be from... The Midnight Special. Midnight Special, Wolfman Jack. Yes. That's Wolfman Jack. And now we've got to tell us about Errol Smith. Really about Smith. <laughs> I don't know if I sell like Mom's Maybelline. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, a combination. Or Louis Armstrong. Of, combination yeah. of the two. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, for me, now the funny thing is this is I'm going to play an obscure song by Aerosmith. That this song I'm about to play wasn't on, like, vinyl version. Or, it was only, it was a throw-in on the cassette. Okay. And... To me, it was on Aerosmith's comeback album, which is going to be in my worst album covers, but I'm done with Mirrors. But when I heard, when I listened to that album, I really was not, a, I was like, man, you know, I'm a, I was a big Aerosmith fan, and I was kind of like bummed. But then when I heard this song, I said, you know what? They still got it. And... But as far as album covers are concerned, I couldn't decide. Rocks and Toys in the Attic are two badass album covers. I think Rocks for its simplicity and the double meaning, you know, rock and rocks, there's five rocks, five band members. And Toys in the Attic for the for the art. And I like how the, the baby's kind of like out of the painting being drawn into it. Uh, well, Rocks has got to be, I mean, as far as musically, it's got to be my favorite Aerosmith album. Which one? Rocks. Oh, yeah, Rocks is, Rocks is my favorite Aerosmith yeah. album. From, from start to finish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, now, now this song you're playing, it was an extra on the cassette from what album? Uh, from Done With Mirrors. Done With Mirrors, I said. Now, Vince, that's what you were saying, that you, you liked, you liked Done With Mirrors. I have to revisit Done With Mirrors. It just wasn't what wasn't I was that bad. I remember. I, I got I picked up that cassette or whatever. I think that was my my or fish, TV. your face. Yeah, yeah. And well they did let the music do the talking. Yeah, that was, was good, really that was good it was really it was a Joe Perry project song. All right. The Joe Perry project was not so uh no. not wasn't, so a good, good. wasn't a good project. No. no. But when I heard this it was like, yeah, this this is a good song. It's fun. Yeah. And I was like, wow, they still kick butt. And the funny thing is, it was this album and the album that came after it to get my, uh, I went the wrong way. There you go. 
What is this? Just done with mirrors. Done with mirrors. From the vacation was a horrible album. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it was a great album. Was it? Oh, that's a great what album. What came off of there? I'm loving an elevator, but there's, there's, uh, the, the songs that weren't singles on this album are great. Um, St. John, um, there's another song with Whale. I, I, I may have to, I may have to look that up and see, um, if I have that selected, but the, uh, and I probably don't. I really don't. So, so yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so that's, that's that. So, so, wow, Red mm -hmm. Rocks is in the background. Red Rocks kind of like my, that's my bucket list venue. That is this bucket list venue. I need to, I need to go there and see a show one of these days. All right, so a couple of questions for you, because... We're kind of at the end of the show. I mean, this is the first one we're doing this way, and we want to know, did everything look good on your end? I understand that there may be certain times when the CPU thing causes a delay with the voice as opposed to visual. So I understand that that may happen. But did everything sound good to you guys out there? Um, how, you know, did you like it? Uh, next week, well, well, you sounded good to me right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ragdoll, dude, yeah, and dude came from permanent. Um, yeah, the uh, so the thing is, this is it's kind of funny that we're, this is actually going to end or all the preparation behind it. <laughs> but the thing is, this is this was our first attempt at doing this, right. and um, I think it looks cool. This can I see some uh, see some comments? What did you guys think of? how this whole thing came across and it was looking yeah you know what if there's a weird audio thing going on right now um it's probably because the cpu thing here is buzzing a little bit um so we like to say thank you um we didn't really plan on we didn't think it was going to be this short no. but but I think it was usually go about an hour and a half or so. Yeah. But, yeah. but I think this was this was the first time, and there was a lot of testing involved. And I think rather than just like like stalling and everything, um, we're um, oh, wait, so you're saying the video is actually Lenny, you're saying the video is actually better better than the other this way right. than the other way. Okay, yeah, B Bill's saying the same thing. Visuals are great. Okay, cool. You know, we're we're going to be putting a lot better stuff together. Uh, we're also going to learn about how, you know, the timing of things. Realistically, the, um, you know what, give me shadow cam a minute. I want to see if I can go back to shadow cam, but I'm going to show you people a couple things. So we're going to, we're going to take you to shadow cam. Okay. Hey, we saw you already. We're so you're looking at me it. right now. This is, this is what it looks like from my point of view. I think I just killed it though. So, <laughs> you're seeing that. So, I have over here iPhone so I can see how things are coming across here. Here's the actual projection of, of what's going on. Here's the set list. This control, this laptop here, controls that monitor right there where we can see your comments. Now, this here, which is why you're seeing all that, wow, is really because cool. <laughs> you are looking into wow. what the actual feed is. Wow. So, Normally, normally I have a set list that um, is probably about two hours long. But the fact is that let's get back to it. We're sorry. back. Look, I'm holding the camera there, showing you people. <laughs> and uh, so we're in front of the Roger Dean picture again. So, so anyway, um, all the preparation and testing and things we had to do. I was up till 2 a.m. last night. I'm friggin' exhausted. Yeah, so you were. It's not really, yeah, it's not really killing me right now <laughs> that this is over. But usually I have two hours of music set up and all that. But one of the things about this is if you have 60 scenes created and you're like, oh, I need something new and I need it to go here, you can't just create it and then go and move it right to, the, to where you need it. You got to go pull up, up one, up one, up one, up one. And a couple times, like last night, I'd get right near where it had to go, and I'd slip, and I'd hit back to the, bo to the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? 
Well, I'm glad I wasn't with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it was late. Um, yeah. Fortunately, Marie couldn't couldn't hear me. Uh, couldn't hear me cursing. So, so yeah. So where are we? So I'm the, I'm here. I'm just trying to get right back to Red Rocks. There you go. Red Rocks. There you go. So, anyway, we're looking to pick up the game. We're going to take your suggestions. Um, and I, I do appreciate everybody for hanging in there with us. And, and I think, like I said, as, as, yeah. oh, the other thing I want to tell you. With this new setup and it on the page, you can actually share tonight's show. Like, Vince, if you want to share this within those groups, you can click the share button and they can watch it. They can see what it's all about. Uh, any of you people, you can share with your friends. The nice thing about this page is people have to actually like it to be a right. member. Right. And I'm hoping to get that number up, you know, big. But I think if people start sharing the video on a page and saying, hey, this is what this is pretty cool. You know, I'm saying that we're pretty cool, but whatever. We're um, pretty cool. Yeah, damn right we are. You know, so anyway, let me grab my uh, my red solo cup. Yeah, though I don't know if there was a red solo cup last night, but there is today. There you go. Yes. So I want to say thank you. And uh, let's let's leave on a on a good one here, and we'll go here. We're gonna crank it up a little. Enjoy. Have a good night. Good weekend, everyone. Stick around because not everything is over. Whatever, okay. still it's over.